What's up everybody, Raider XP here. Today I'm going to show you how to build the easiest automatic sugarcane farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21. Now these are the materials you're going to need. Go ahead and pause your video while you're having the internet thing up. And while you're at it, if you would, please consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like, and dropping a comment. I will also put a list of the materials down below. Alright, let's get this thing going guys. This thing is, I mean, it's just so cool. I love this thing. Alright. First thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to grab our stairs and our sand and our bucket of water. What we're going to do is we're going to turn sideways here and we're going to place our stair just like so. Go ahead and dig out that hole there and place a piece of sand right in front of it. Then take out these three blocks and as we can see here i got a lot of holes in my world so let's just take care of that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our bucket of water and we're going to waterlog that stair just like so. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our dispenser and we're going to place our dispenser right on top of that stair just like so. Grab your block of choice and place three blocks alongside it like that. Take out these two blocks there and place two blocks just like that and then two more above so we're looking at it just like that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our pistons. We're going to crouch down and we're going to place two pistons right on top of that dispenser like so. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come around here and we're going to take out those five blocks. We are going to grab our redstone torches, redstone dust, repeater. And we're going to place our redstone repeater on that block there facing forward like so. Grab your redstone touch torch and place it on the back. There you see it powers up that repeater. And then place your redstone dust right in front. And that effectively makes the redstone clock. And as you can see, that thing's going. And this thing, it, it'll just go forever. It's awesome, guys. Now, next thing you want to do, place your comparator right next to it like so. Grab your redstone torch and place it in front of that and then a piece of redstone dust next to it and as you can see now that is shut off our clock and that is just exactly how we want it. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. Let's come around to this side here and what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our hoppers and our chest and we're going to place down a double chest here because you're going to need a double chest for this thing. It's so awesome. Crouch down place a hopper going into the chest. Now as you can see here I use Direction, uh, an add-on called directional hoppers and that tells me exactly which way my hopper is facing at all times and I don't have to dig out a hole like that. I always know. Alright, place a block next to the sand just like so. Crouch down and place a hopper going into that dispenser and this is going to be where we're going to supply our farm with the bone meal that it needs to make our infinite amount of sugar cane. Crouch down and place a chest right there just like so. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab our glass and we're going to place our glass in a little pattern just like so. Grab your redstone torch one last time here. Place your redstone torch right next to that piston like that. Grab your glass and place one glass above that chest and you'll still be able to access it like that and then two more on top like that and then we'll put one more just like that just to make a nice easy squared out system grab your glass panes and place three glass panes on top of that hopper and then grab your slabs and we're going to put a little lid on this thing because this thing when when sugar cane breaks it just goes crazy and it flies everywhere and this way we're not going to lose any of our sugar cane whatsoever. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. I'm trying to make an informational video here. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Now, the one thing I forgot to do here is place a piece of sugar cane on that sand right there. All right. This thing is it, it is glorious, guys. I love this thing. So all we got to do now is we come to this side, open up that chest like that, throw in our bone meal, and look at that thing. This thing is just awesome and the best part about it is when the bone meal is done it shuts itself off you don't ever have to worry about walking away from this farm and 
forgetting to turn it off and having it break and stuff like that. And look at that. In just seconds, we've gotten half a stack. I ran this one for a minute to two minutes tops, and we've got just tons and tons of sugar cane to build rockets and paper and use it for sugar. This thing's awesome, guys. I love it, and I hope you do too. And that's how we build the easiest automatic sugarcane farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21. Don't forget to check out all my videos. Bye now.